Hello, Dr. Blakesley. I won't be killing you. You're a doctor and you're smoking, but you know what? It's the space capitalist apocalypse, so whatever. Anyway, let us continue with the peril on Gorgon. We have to go find Dr. Jasper Lowe. He is at Auntie Cleo's science facility orbiting Olympus. I think that's the first time we've ever been to Olympus, so yeah, let's go. All right. Orbital Pharmaceutical Captain, Station. An unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Uh oh Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Great. Their intentions are no longer unknown. That is not a cheerful fanfare. Yeah, no, that is... That is very much not a cheerful fanfare. At precisely this moment, Captain? No. Within the next 60 to 90 seconds? Yes. Problem. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. Leave! That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Uh-oh. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. Great! I... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Boarded, Captain. A verb, indicating a hostile action whereby an enemy ship attempts to invade our own for the purposes of capture. In Captain space? Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. Oh, excellent. So that's why you're pleased. I see. Uh, who are these people and what do they want? Our airlock has... Yeah, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Back when we first met. Hold on. Do you remember when we first met? You said there was... A, you, you tried to teleport me into space, but nothing happened. I was bluffing, Captain. When we met in Emerald Vale, my systems were not fully operational. Even if they were, I might have made an exception for you. I see. The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, here's a good question. How did they find us? Their ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. Oh, she's if not happy. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. All right. Uh, you know what? Fuck these guys, actually. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrent system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Oh, boy. Um, hey, literally everybody on the boat. Hey, literally everybody on the... Hey! Actually, literally everybody on the boat came! Now initiating warm welcome protocol. Please maintain a responsible distance. One simply must appreciate such an effective deterrent. Well said, Max. All right. Um, anyone else have anything to say about this? I thought we were safe in the Aether. Oh, Law, I'm going to have nightmares about this for weeks. Well, I'm sorry. I've been on the other side of a boarding dock enough to recognize amateurs. Assholes interrupted my beauty sleep. How dare they? Invading foreign threats detected. Deploying lethal measures. Targets, bacteria, viruses, and human scum. Sam, the fight's over that way. You, you don't have to... You don't have to dust right now. Whatever. Got my head in the game, boss. Maybe we can talk when we're done here? I see. All right, uh, let's go figure out who tried to board us. Very, very poorly. And, uh, just for funsies, let's bring some fucking killing machines, by which I mean Neoka and Sam. Try to board my ship. This went poorly for you. Riot control armor. Like but... knows how to play defense. All right, freebooters, fall back and regroup. Freebooters? Okay. Well, uh, they have a neat logo. 
I approve of this uh, Marauding Company's logo. We can go to their galley. Uh, can we just hack this door here? No. We need Coach Stilly's credentials. Are we being boarded by a tossball team? Is that what's happening here? Are we being boarded by a tossball team? That seems awfully mean. Also, don't you guys, like, have jobs as tossball dudes? I don't know how tossball works, but it seems like it would... Did you get locked out, too? Did the owners lock the tossball players out? Oh, topical references are topical. Hi, guys. Here we go. You're dead. Go. Whoa! Spillage analysis. Bodily fluid. Oh. Maybe let's not immediately get fucking wrecked the first by the first guy who, she, who sees us. Pollutant purified. Okay. Optional eliminate the mercenaries. Okay. I mean, we didn't really have much of an option. Are these guys really gonna let me get away with having killed their dog? Is that really what's happening here? Are you gonna let me get away with having killed your dog? I'm happy to get away with killing your dog, if you're going to let me get away with killing your dog. Can I kill your face? Preparing to neutralize and sanitize. Apparently, no. Apparently, I cannot. All right, now, what happened last time was... Mutant purified. Uh, Nioka, get the fuck up. Crew member requires maintenance. I'm reloading. Everyone all right? Okay, I think that I think that tosser guy had like a nuke launcher or something. Oh, there are more people here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um I can deal with this. Identified. Dropped object is an organic in rest mode. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um, these guys have some kind of super weapon, actually. Oh, but now we have a choke point at the bottom of the ladder. Maybe. As long as the choke point is guarded by Sam. Good news, customer. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. Hi, Coach. What's your deal? You know, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping you'd play by the rules. We could have had a good old-fashioned boarding. Now you're barging into my office, muddy and tracks all over my floor. A little respect for the ship. Is that too much to ask? You're the one who boarded my ship, bud. You were boarding my ship, asshole. Yeah, but I had every intention of respecting the upholstery. I would have had you spaced or shot in the bathroom or something. You're adjutant to Conde's hired gun. I don't know why you've taken an interest in Gorgon. And frankly, I don't want to know. You and I are in a bit of a situation. I don't get paid unless you're dead. And a man's got to make a living. You understand. So this guy, this guy is mad at me because I'm working for Adjutant Akande, which, okay, is fair. I've probably gone a little bit too far down the path of, uh, of, you know, working for the board but intending to undermine the board to where, according to a lot of people, I'm just working for the board now. That's understandable. I wish my persuade was high. I could have sworn my persuade was high enough to talk to this guy. Listen, buddy, we're supposed to... 
I want to talk to you. I don't want to have to. I, I will totally kill you if I have to. But um, can we can we just back out of the conversation? Maybe. No. All right, fine. You die now. You appear to have died now. All right, is there anyone here who doesn't want to kill me? I think everyone here either wants to kill me or is dead or both of those things. Okay. Tracking device. Remove tracking device. Hooray. This vessel has been decommissioned and therefore we don't have any inventory. Damn it. So with that having been done, can we like figure out yeah head back to ada okay cool don't uh don't fuck with the unreliable i guess that's the moral of the story here don't fuck with the unreliable hi there welcome back captain i understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party are you ready to depart sure understood captain resuming our course Okay, then. So, yes, we murdered everyone. Good job. Uh, we completed that quest, which is wonderful. And now we are, uh, where are we? We're orbiting Olympus, looking for Dr. Jasper Lowe. Let's go do that. Why is there immediately a red triangle on my map? Like, I've barely been here. I just leveled up from taking three steps. Another science lab, another dead body. How refreshing. Just once I want to walk into a science lab here in space and say, you know, everything's fine. We're doing good work. We're learning things about the universe. We're performing experiments in an ethical and scientifically sound manner. Like, just once. Just one time, I want that to be true. That's not going to be true this time, but, you know, one time. Oh. Listen, if I had to sit at a desk and do literally nothing for 353 consecutive days... I would like to think that I would wax this poetic about my inevitable suicide. But, um, no, I don't think I would. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that's not a good sign. Do you know what else is not a good sign? Is all of these fucking red triangles on my goddamn nav bar. Keep it together, Kelly. Kelly? Kelly? Just breathe, Kelly. Everything's gonna be all right. Who's Kelly? Determination. Buzz, 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 buzz. Ah! Stop making that noise. They'll hear you. <laughs> Who's out there? Kelly. My name is Kelly. Uh, captain of my own ship. I'll open up and I'll get you away from here. That's the tempting offer. Um, but uh, listen, whatever you're scared of, I'm pretty sure it's dead. I've killed a lot of things in my time. Now, I haven't killed anything on this planet, but you don't need to know that. You say that, but I'm pretty sure I can hear the Automex. I can hear them right now, clamoring through the vents. Right, but listen, uh, Ellie, my, my good friend Ellie, told me about this thing called auditory hallucinations, which sounds like a fucking incredible thing to have in the uh, Captain Jack Necktie White Shoot Gang voice. Hear that? Auditory hallucinations. Doesn't that just sound wonderful? Oh, thank Auntie. Mm -hmm. You are a send from the stars. That's what I always say. I open up right away. Thank you, Kelly. Now, the last person I met named Kelly tried to uh, tell me that I had mail. Like, a lot of mail. Actually, she was sort of my ship's receptionist. Now that you think about it. Aw, oh, crap. Are you just Kelly Chambers? Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, 
I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? It's a good question. Uh, do you need a lift? Who are you? Yeah, let's start with why is everyone dead? Pink slip protocol. I'm sorry? They wanted to terminate everyone. Do you mean kill? How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. Mm-hmm. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hold on. Uh, can't let it go without mentioning. This place is called Oops. Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Mm-hmm. Anticleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. Right. Okay, fine. Uh, what were you, what was happening here? I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to Anticleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. Okay. All right, fine. Uh, tell me more about you, Kelly. I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire, because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Yeah, except for me. I came here. Right. Heck of a time for our first and only visitor to show up. Speaking of, why are you here? Uh, Dr. Lowe, mostly. <laughs> I'm a professional storm chaser. You, no, you don't even get a lie check for that. You just get a, a mean look, probably. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. Great. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the automex, too. Unlikely, but possible. Uh, is there anything else you can tell me? Like what? I don't know. Uh, do you want to ride out of here? Do I ever? Great. Door's Drop over there. Drop the groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Works for me. <laughs> no, not so fast. I charge for transport. Uh, fine. Get, just, just go. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here. This is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So... What exactly wants to... Ah, combat drones. Well... This will be over quickly. Max, do you want to... Yeah, that uh, doesn't seem like great armor to, to try to fight past. Ellie's down. Seems bad. Get past that armor. I don't yeah, you're hurt. Well then. You know, maybe I should stop going like one-on-one -on -one with these machines. Just straight on slugging match. It seems like a bad idea. Okay, maybe I can just be stealthy. Maybe we could just sneak past an entire room full of enemies. That's a thing I've never tried to do before. It's probably not going to work, but, you know, it's the first time for everything, right? We can just, you know, go all the way over here. See? Nobody saw that. I, 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 I can't get in there, so getting here had no point, but, you know. Okay, um... Well, listen, we're not dead yet, so by some measures, this is actually going quite well. Now, by some other measures, this is terrible, and I'm going to die, but uh, let's not think about that. This will be over quickly. Oh. Bullseye! Thank <laughs> you. 
combat. Down they go. That's right, down they go. Hey, the big one's already dead. Great. Excellent hit. Okay, I'm quite close to dying, so... Oh! Hold on, Captain! Damn it! Damn it! Let's try this a third time. Applying the lessons we learned last time, and also some new lessons. For instance... I don't have a for instance. Let's try sneaking past this guy right here. Maybe this guy right here is just very stupid. Very stupid, quite blind, not actually... Oh, okay, quite mad, quite mad, actually quite mad. That won't do it all, Jasper, you imbecile. Open up! Jasper, open up! Jasper, open up! Jasper, open up! There are robots out there! No, 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 that won't do it all, Jasper, you imbecile. Jasper, there are robots out there! Uh, 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 shush. No talking... Concentrating. Jasper, there are Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind, and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Yeah, well, listen. Listen. Why are we raising your illegitimate son, Felix? I, that's a good question, Kath. It's a good question. Some characters in this game are just straight palette swaps of other NPCs. This guy looks like Felix's dad. He doesn't look like Felix with a different hair color. He looks like Felix's dad. Anyway, uh, what formula? Sky High. My magnum opus of psychostimulants. I feel like I've already explained this to the last hallucination. I... Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Mm-hmm. Ergo, not a hallucination. Exactly. This is interesting. Sure. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Alex Jack Neckthorn, and I'm very good at talking, shooting people with my sniper rifle, making friends with people who are better killers than me, and getting lucky. In basically that order. Uh, anyway... No, I'm I'm supposed to tell people I'm Alex Hawthorne, so that's who I am. Dr. Jasper Lowe, you see my uniform. Don't demote me like that. Right, that answers that. Next question. Mm-hmm. Are you going to voice that question? Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? No. Something tells me he's not looking for caffeinoid, Captain. Yeah, probably not. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's good. Only the freshest for my friends. Listen, buddy, first hit's free. I tell you what, let me reach into my pocket here, pull out uh, this, uh, whatever. First hit's free. New friends mean new birthdays to keep track of. And I can't spare much room in my mind palace for frivolous trinkets of information. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Dr. Jasper Lowe at your service. Pleased to meet you. Friend. Excellent. Uh, what, I what in the fuck is going on here? Auntie Cleo instituted the pink slip protocol. Fancy marketing term that translates to, we're not satisfied with the quality of your work, so we're revoking your lifetime contracts. Wonderful. Can you believe Auntie terminated my entire team? It's a terrible setback. You don't for say. For my team, I mean. Not for me. Not this time. I'll continue the work on my own if need be. Mm-hmm. Okay, and what work is that? I'm, you know, working on the task that I was hired to perform. I'm fulfilling my contractual obligations. Okay. Auntie Cleo wants us to develop Anthracillin Plus, a new and improved version of the original Anthracillin formula. And what Auntie wants, Auntie gets. Eventually, mm -hmm. I was making considerable progress. I can't possibly fathom why they prematurely terminated the project. I see. Uh, listen, bud. Every single person who might be, uh, who might have their ego bruised has also had their hearts bruised. And their lungs, and their brains, and the pasty remains of their livers. 
What I'm saying is they're dead. Just tell me. I'm not lying. I'm carefully curating the truth for you. Mm-hmm. All right, listen. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula, I'll be able to keep my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like, feelings. Right. Okay. Listen, I just need to get into, to, into this thing on Gorgon. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. You're a bad Gorgon liar. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. And? The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Doubt it. Sounds... Someone has been wor warning me. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, why do you care? I don't know why. Possibly I was just being polite. It doesn't matter. Clearly, you're not about to take my advice. No, I am not. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. Or I could kill you. Your mechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. Or I could kill you. Or I could kill you. Have you considered that, Jasper? This could be a you problem. No, I'm not stepping out of my lab. Not under any circumstances. I can't bear to look at what's out there. Uh -huh. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. Or I could kill you. Or I could kill you. I could just kill you. I could very easily just kill you. You fucking idiot. If this gets me eaten by robots six times, I'm just killing you. That's the deal. If I die six times, I'm just killing you. I could have... I could have busted in here without unlocking the... Well, now I know, and knowing is half the battle. Anyway, there's still a room full of robots out here. Oh, hi. Kind of forgot that you guys were here. Can't get past that armor. Captain, you're fading. No shit. Uh-oh. Da 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 da. There. It's fine. Oh, this is a long elevator. What is Ellie's special move? Uh, she shoots things with her gun. Ah! Whoa, that one was close, Captain. Uh huh. Okay. This is, uh... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, activate turbine. Turbine fail. Great. Great. Maintenance... Okay. Uh, maintenance required. Super. Why the fuck didn't I bring Parvati? This set remind yes, this is a very this is a very Mass Effect set. Yeah, this set this is a this is a very Mass Effect set, Ghost. You are not wrong. This is uh, this has Mass Effect written all over it. In addition to oh fuck angry robots. It has oh fuck angry robots written all over it. My kind of action. Try a bigger weapon. Try a bigger weapon. I used your special and it didn't do anything. Nice one, Captain. Down they go. No. That fuck. That's one. 
That's one. Here we go. Mostly with the killing. TBH. Criminal damage sustained. Hi. Better patch that up. Wow, those mechanical sentries hit hard and fast. Also, oh hi. Get on. Okay. All right. Um. Your life was merely an illusion, anyway. Max, would you please kill things? Take cover. Down. Shut up. More Adrito. Well done. We're still alive. Okay. Okay, so that did a thing. I'm not entirely sure what thing that did, but it was a thing worth doing. Here we go. Apparently. Oh. Nice one. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting. Max, get up. That's the last of them. Good. Excellent. Activate turbine. Hooray. Now we leave this well, place. That's quite the impressive sight. Oh. Okay, that is pretty impressive. And now, best of all, we get to fucking leave. Let's fucking leave. Although, to be honest, if this was Mass Effect, that would have been a boss that we would have had to kill somehow. So, thank God that it wasn't. Hi, J-Man. The facilities back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. Right. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. Yeah, just get me inside the chem lab. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. How generous. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Mm. Wait. Take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Of course not. Uh, I need help with the security. Yeah, you know that place better than anyone. Die, perhaps? Yeah. Automechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I mean... I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. Mm -hmm. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. I mean, fair. Fair. However, uh, if you help, something something old ghosts to rest, something something I have 95 persuade, and am therefore very charming. I suppose you've got a point. Or well, something resembling a point. Yeah! I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this keycard to unlock the hallway and disable security. I see. Now, um, can't help but notice that for a guy who claims to have made a clean break and wants to put this behind him, you're still carrying your security keycard from that place. Which, 
while convenient for me, was certainly a choice on your part. Anyway, uh, tell me more about this terrible time in your life. Even if I wanted to talk about Project Gorgon, I couldn't. All my memories of Gorgon are intact, but they're in disarray. Like a book with its pages shuffled. Mm -hmm. Making sense of those memories requires clarity of mind. Clarity that only Sky High gives me. To tell you everything I know, I'd have to be dangerously euphoric. Ooh. One hit won't hurt. Yeah, just one. Just one hit won't hurt. All right. Just one inhale. Oh, God. Easy does it, Jasper. Is this man gonna die? Max, I'm glad you're here to see this. Dangers of drug use. Have you ever seen a lake as still and clear as a mirror? That's how my mind feels right now. Uh-huh. Listen. All right. This is very important. I need you to tell me where Sean is. Mama Murphy, you just took your jet. Tell me where Sean is. Lawrence Goodfell and his vultures in the OCI drove my team to death and picked our bones clean. They wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Fitting. Because developing a viable, humane drug with no time, no resources, and no personnel would require a fucking miracle. Mm-hmm. You need to fire one in ten, yeah. The Roman solution, he called it. This is what happens when powdered-up elites from Byzantium try to manage the lives of a whole colony. They act like emperors. Every researcher I lost was valuable. They all had lives. They all had talents. They're all dead now. Or worse, marauders. And thus dead by my hand. And guess what? I've got their blood on my hands. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. The high never lasts more than a few moments. All right. I, I'll get you a, I'll get you another hit. But listen, don't tell Preston, all right? I suppose you're right. I do need to relax. Up you go, old friend. Oh, this man is so going to die. And just like that, the demons of my mind have all gone silent. You know, I, it's worth pointing out, I do have a man of the cloth and a semi-trained physician on either side of me. If either of them wants to pipe up at any time and point out that this is not going well, I, listen. Anyway. Listen, what happened in that chem lab? The disaster at the chem lab was my fault. I tested Adrena time on primals. I decimated my own research team. And I was a coward. Mm -hmm. I locked myself up in isolation. I told myself that I needed silence and solitude to perfect my formula for Sky High. But the truth is that I was ashamed. Uh, what's so important? Yeah. Nothing. Everything. I told myself... I needed a drug to help me focus, help me work. The weight of guilt crushed my capacity to work, but if I didn't work, then I was worthless. Adrena time was like that. It was designed and marketed as a necessity, an elixir of productivity. It made you feel guilty for not using it, and then hurt you when you used it. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. The high never lasts more than a few moments. I have forgotten exactly how the rest of this quest line goes, because I never actually kill Mama Murphy. But listen, Doctor, I built your stupid chair, okay? Sturgis and June and... June's annoying wife, whose name I forget, are all here with us. They want you to take your psycho! I shouldn't. Thank you, but... I'm starting to reach the threshold of my tolerance. I'd have to clear my mind in order to answer your questions, and that requires a truly irresponsible dose of Sky High. And admittedly, a truly spectacular high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Don't be a cow, Jasper. Oh, God. I am going to murder this man. I'm very likely a coward, but I'll do it anyway. A toast, then. May we perceive our lives as meaningful and our existence as endlessly spanning. Because Architect knows the alternative is crippling for the psyche. True! Even one as superior as mine. Up you go, old friend. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, he didn't immediately drop dead. Uh, what's so important about Dr. Ambrose's journal, anyway? The author. Dr. Olivia Ambrose was one of the most brilliant minds in Halcyon. She wouldn't have kept a journal for something as tawdry as mere sentiment. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ambrose never made it out of Gorgon alive. That's the sort of thing that happened to the project's best minds. They were killed. They turned Marauder. Or they became me. Uh, yeah, let's, let's keep puff, puffing up this guy's ego. Gone. Like smoke in a breeze. Sky High clarifies my mind. And I can see that my confidence was only ever an illusion. Oh dear. I never had the courage to tell Dr. Ambrose that I admired her dedication to her work. I never had the courage to stand up to corporate on behalf of my staff. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. The high never lasts more than a few moments. I can't tell you how badly I want another hit right now. Listen, bud. I... I couldn't possibly tell you what to do. I couldn't possibly tell you what to do. I could thank Ashwinder15 for following, and I will, but I couldn't tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. I love how simple you make it sound. Exactly. Cheers to at last freeing myself from the monotony of unremitting failure. No, this is not going to go well. You don't know how beautiful it is in my mind right now. No cares. No anxieties. No yesterday. No tomorrow. To forget time. To forget life. At least one of those. Peace. At least one of those is definitely true. Definitely true. Our, uh. Listen, bud. Are you okay? Did you just melt your brain or something? I have absolutely nothing to say. Possibly ever. Excellent. Excellent. We, we, we have melted this man's head. Okay. Should have seen that coming. All right. Well. Great. Good job. Well done, everyone. Let's go get that oral scanner, I guess. Are you... Are you really just... There's nothing left for me to do. Nothing at all but to wait. Okay. At least he can be high as fuck. That's true. That is absolutely true. All right. Let's take some weapon parts... Uh, let's take the, the key card on our way out and, and let's just leave him to his devices, I suppose. The good news is we killed all the robots, so the robots won't kill him. Uh, the starvation will almost certainly do that, but, you know, that's a problem for future him, I think. 